What's going on guys, welcome back to Nolan TCG, and we are back here today for another deck profile, and this time, it's for Black Wings. So I've been messing around with Black Wings now that the build that I would traditionally play has, I guess, gone away uh, in the current format. Uh, the, given that we don't have Verte anymore, uh, this deck no longer just kind of freely ends on a bunch of Dark Stuff, and then that Dark Stuff ruins your opponent's time. Um, but yeah, overall now we've pivoted a little bit, um, it's switched up to a Scythe Lock deck, um, so if that's not the kind of build you're looking for for your Black Wings, I guess you've clicked off already the moment I said those words. Uh, but we will get through the deck profile for this one. I'm really enjoying the list, but I am looking for feedback on it and ways that I can improve it and make it better. Uh, so do make sure to comment down, that, that down below. Uh, we're going to get to that at the start of the video. Because uh, overall, at the moment, I've got this running on like sometimes a 2 to a 3 card combo. Uh, we will go through the combo at the end of the video to show what I'm working with. Uh, in a 5 card combo, you typically will end on like, if you open 5 different Black Wings, you just kind of go crazy if your opponent doesn't have hand traps. Uh, but we're trying to essentially play around hand traps in this build. We've got some certain things in here to change things up. And it can cause it to brick sometimes, but in that case, you do open a bunch of hand traps and you kind of win from there. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, but before we get started on this one, please remember to drop down below and hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Because we are always about having new people on the channel. And let's get on into this deck profile. Before we do get started on this one, though, it is brought to you, of course, by YourPlayMat.com, who got us our beautiful Nolan TCG Extra Deck sleeves. These are available on YourPlayMat.com, as well as you can get custom sleeves and custom playmats, so whatever you need for the current format. Uh, there is an affiliate link in the description down below that does get you a little bit of a discount on your order. Also, enter the code uh, Nolan10YP for 10% off your order. Also kicks back a little bit to the channel, so everything will be very much appreciated. If you're shopping there, you're getting custom sleeves, custom playmats down. Make sure to enter our code at checkout. But, let's get on into this deck profile. Okay, so starting us off for our Blackwing line, we have our two three of. So we've got three copies of Bore of the Spear. Um, so what we've gone for here is to max out on the unlimited special summons per turn. So we've gone for three copies of Bora and three copies of Gale. So as long as you don't control one of the same name, uh, free special as much as you like. So we've maxed out at three copies of each of these. I've then opted to go for just two copies of Chris. I would traditionally always play three copies of Chris. Um, but however, it's not, like, you can't just keep summoning Chris's. Uh, Chris is a hard once per turn on the free special summon, so that's the reason why I'm playing it at two. Uh, also should really explain, I'm not playing Simon in this build, um, simply because the goal of this is to scythe lock, and you need to get into a light to do that. Uh, you can do other things with the Simon, but I opted to cut it in over, and in order to play, like, stuff like our cross-out designator and our hand trap targets. Just to give us a bit more back and forth with our opponent. Um, so, yeah. That's the reason why you're not going to see someone in this build. Um, I have been messing around with switching back to it. But I've kind of settled on this list at the moment. Uh, and then after that, we have the rest of our two orbs. Uh, another free special summon. It is one, two copies of Hamart in the Dust. Uh, bumping this up from one from normal. Just to compensate for the missing Chris. Uh, this also helps us get into Full Armor Master a lot easier. Uh, then we have one copy of Orishi the Squall to start off our one ofs. This is our just essentially free special summon. Uh, another free special summon, if you open it, is the one copy of Gust Backblast. Um, I have been messing around with one or two copies of this. I've settled on the one, but I can be convinced to go otherwise and go to two. I think that three is unnecessary simply because it can be bricky if you open multiples. Uh, you say if you open multiple and then one of the other like three black wings we have in the deck, uh, then you're not going to be able to fully utilize it, so I've just opted for the one, it's just a free special summon, uh, allows us to play more varied names in these following two, uh, so that does include now our one copy of Us to the South Wind, uh, yes playing one of this, it's really really good if you open it with the Lore of Darkness, but that doesn't always happen, so just playing it at one is fine, and then one copy of Breeze the Zephyr, uh, just our searchable target off the uh, off Black Whirlwind so we can get that special summon off. Uh, then we have our last Black Wing. It is one copy of Zephyros the Elite. This is our special summon from deck, so we just want to play one copy of that. Uh, then we have our Wing Beast Extenders. Uh, one copy of Seeing Lanius with one copy of Raider's Wing. Uh, this is your search targets off uh, your Wastrix. Wastrix? Forstrix? One of them. Uh, and then we have our PK line coming through after that. So we have our Boots and our Cloak. Uh, you just kind of need it to play with the Rusty line. Uh, this gets you free special summons, as, as well as the Rusty line gets you free summons. It's essentially two summons. It gets you through to uh, your Artifact Dagger at the end, which then gets you to your Scythe. And then your Scythe locking in a rather cute way in this deck. Uh, and then we have for our Hand Traps, it is three copies of Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. 
uh, with our one copy of Effect Veiler. Uh, it's simply here because it seems to be rather prevalent at my locals at the moment, so it's here for a crossout target. Uh, then we have our spells. Uh, three copies of Allure of Darkness for the consistency. Everything's dark. Again, I said it earlier, but it mixes with Southwind. Uh, and then we have our three copies of Black Whirlwind. Uh, just nets your free special summons. I said at the start of the video, uh, this deck does run on a three card combo. So opening the Black Whirlwind, really, really good to get you the net off the normal summons. It lets you keep going. Uh, then we have our three copies of Crossout Designator after that. Uh, just here to mess around with our hand traps, just to make sure we don't get stopped on anything. Uh, one copy of Black we uh, sorry, Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Force. Uh, it's here for our rank up. Uh, we'll explain that as we go along. Uh, one copy of Called by the Grave, and then one copy of Monster Reborn as our one-offs after that. Uh, the reason why I'm opting to play Monster Reborn over a name is because this can be any name as long as you open two. Uh, and then after that, we go into our trap line. Uh, we have one copy of Fogblade, and then one copy of Shade Brigadine. Of course, we have a negation that we can end on, and an extender for the combo. And then finally, rounding out the main deck, we have our two copies of Infinite Impermanence. Okay, and now we have the extra deck. So we will start off with our Synchro Monsters. So starting us off, uh, we do have one copy of TG Wonder Magician. Uh, you don't traditionally do this method of popping the uh, the Dagda in this deck, or the popping the Scythe. Uh, it is just here because in some situations you open the Scythe, you might get hand trapped when you're comboing off and you're left with two monsters on board. One of them may be a Tuna. Uh, then you can just go into the Halk and then Halk into this. Uh, it's simply there for that contingency plan. Uh, we have the one copy of Raikiri, the Rain Shower. This is our just uh, seven Synchro Black Wing of choice. Feel free to change this up. I just really like this one. Uh, and then we have our Shooting Riser after that as another seven option that we have in the deck. I did flip between playing this or playing uh, Formula, not Formula Synchron. Uh, the other big card that says no, the level seven. Uh, that one, that one. The level seven card that says no, the race car. Brum, brum. Uh, was mixing around with this, but I do have a lot of Sword Soul at my locals, so that's why we're going the Shooting Riser Dragon. Uh, one copy of Savage, of course, and a gate that you can kind of cutely throw in. Uh, one copy of Full Armor Master, and then one copy of Baron de Fleur. Uh, this card can be very difficult for a lot of people to out, so rather cute when you can slap it on. And the Baron is just here if you want to opt for a negate instead. Uh, very rarely will I make the Baron, so yeah, you don't need to buy this if you're making this deck. Uh, then we go into our Xyz. Uh, we have one copy of Baguska, uh, just because it really, really destroys uh, Branded. So yeah, you can make it really easily. Why not play it? Uh, then we have our two copies of Wystrix. You need both for the combo. Uh, and then one copy of Ultimate Falcon, which is what we're going to be ranking up into. It's rather cute when it pops off. Uh, then we have our Lynx. So starting us off, we have our one copy of Wystrix, uh, essential for the combo line. Uh, one copy of Halka Fibrax. Not really necessary in this build, if I'm honest myself. Uh, it's really just here for sometimes it does come up and it's a contingency you can make. Rather cute when you do that, but yeah, really rare that you do. Uh, one copy of Dagda, of course you need that for setting your scythe. Uh, one copy of Rusty, and then lastly we have our one copy of Access Code, because on the following turn, this is the one summon that you do. You just make Access Code and you win. Okay, so now we get to the combo portion of the video, and like I said at the start, this is a three card combo, so we are just running off the three black wings. Uh, typically, any name is fine. Uh, if you open a four, that's kind of good, uh, because you definitely want to leave one on board. So starting us off, we're going to go into the Chris, uh, special summon two. Uh, we'll go and link two, uh, so yeah, link two, correct, uh, into our Wystrix. Uh, Wystrix is going to summon from deck. It'll get our Zephros the Elite. Uh, this is why we kind of want the level 4 there, so that we can link the 2 off uh, for your... Oh, sorry, X is the 2 off for your 4 Strix. Uh, we get the Zephros normally. You're not going to actually use the Zephros unless you open uh, your Black Whirlwind. Uh, so it's simply just here for the following turn that we can net a uh, bounce back to hand, and then we can go into our access code. Uh, so off the 4 Strix, you're going to add your Raider's Wing. You're then going to detach and summon your Raider's Wing. Then, uh, so off you detach, make sure you use the Wystrix effect, because that's definitely important. Uh, so we want to go Wystrix into our rank up magic. Uh, then you're going to link these two off for our Rusty. And then we can go Rusty effect. Uh, we're going to set Shade Brigadine, and we're going to send our Ancient Cloak. Uh, summon the Shade Brigadine, and then we're going to Xyz with these two. For our second copy of Four Strix, uh, we pop that one here for now. Uh, we will detach the Four Strix. 
to go and get us our... Where is our Singing Lanius? We'll go and get that. We'll slap our Singing Lanius onto the board. Uh, and then we can go and net our search with our Ancient Cloak. Ancient Cloak, nice and easy, is going to get us... Our Shade Brigadier, our, our Silent Boots, sorry. Our Silent Boots Special Summon. Then we're going to link the two off. For our Dagda. Uh, then we're going to go our Silent Boots Effect to Search, propping our Dagda. Then we will set Scythe. Uh, and then, yeah, we net the Search off. As I threw cards literally everywhere. Nah, we have them all still. Uh, we're going to search our Fog Blade and set that. Uh, that then does live us with... So we've got the Scythe, we've got the Fog Blade, and then we've got the Rank Up Magic. So on your opponent's turn, you're going to Rank Up Magic... Uh, your four Shrix into Ultimate Falcon. Uh, and then Rusty's going to trigger popping the Scythe. Scythe will summon. Floodgates out your opponent. Uh, they try to do anything. You can Fog Blade them uh, rather cutely if they just summon something small and they try to attack over the Dagda. Even though it's 15, quite big, you can Fog Blade the Dagda or you can Fog Blade whatever they normal summon. Uh, and then on the following turn, that's where you do the cute stuff of use your Zephyros the Elite to bounce the Fog Blade, summon it back, and then you link four into your access code and then yeah this is typically game but that does wrap us up here for the deck profile for this one um as always though if you do have any recommendations or things you would change do make sure to comment them down below if you have any combos and stuff that you've come up with uh make sure to comment those as well uh and as always i've been ben from nolan tcg and have a good afternoon everybody